Hey, what's up guys? We're just doing a sort of impromptu sort of live session. I'm just working on some progressive stuff for protoculture at the moment. And uh, just diving to setting up some grooves for this track that I'm working on. Um, so I'm just really working on the drums right now. I've just been putting together like a rough loop in the meantime. And yeah, we're just going to take a look. I've got this new UVI um, uh, drum designer, which I've been checking out. It's super cool for designing your sounds. It's like a clap module, uh, kick module. Not quite as uh, um, in-depth as some of the other stuff, like uh, Kick 2, a Sonic Academy one. But um, I'm getting some good stuff out of this, so I've actually really been enjoying this. Anyways, I'm just going to get down to processing some of these drums and building these up a little bit. Uh, let's check this out. some groups going on here quickly. Yeah, so this is this uh, UVI, uh, this is the clap module. So you get really nice, like, um, really easy to get nice stereo sounds with this. I'm just using just like uh, a few samples loaded into this. It's got a couple of different layers, and they just kind of pan around a little bit. 
one center, one left, one right. I'm just laying that with a, another clap as well. I'm actually going to bounce these together uh, so that I can just get some compression on those. Start getting stuff down to audio as well. Yeah. So I had the kick muted. I like this purple audio for drum stuff. Let's link them. Gonna get some reverb going on these. The drum verb.
get rid of this one. Just run that through all the drum verb. And we'll read the reverbs to the drum bus as well. So we get the compression on the reverbs as well.
just going to need to mark this one. So I change the bottom out. Kind of leave those tops in place.
Uh, this is just some granular stuff from an upcoming sample pack that I'm working on called Architectures. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, really cool sort of textural beds and stuff in there. Pad sounds, some effects and things. These are just one of the granular ones. Lands every time I
recording in there quickly. Let's actually switch this over to silence. Uh, there's a patch here that I really like, and I'll we'll change it up later. But uh, just to find something nice to play with. one cool thing with uh, Cubase 10.5 is the retrospective recording. recording. Um, so I didn't hit record there, but I can just bam, and it remembers exactly what I've done, which is really cool. Let's just take a listen to this. This one's just controlling the length of the shakers. Or the decay time.
going in here as well. Uh, let's make something quickly. on that one as well. Turn it all the way up.
My TDs is a bank as well at some stage. A couple of uh, presets I've been building for. Like these uh, slower, slower tracks, kind of filling them up with a little bit of noise in the background as well. Just to kind of it's sort of barely audible.
some shorter ones like that as well. quits there and start arranging this track tomorrow uh thanks for tuning in guys i'll catch you again soon cheers